All right, this is on lap 280. Casey Mears gets into Marcus Ambrose out of four, and then right here on lap 400, they get into each other. We believe this is what caused the fight right after they got out of their car. Chris Myers again, thing to say. And the tempers, that's Casey Mears and Marcus Ambrose. Those are two of the more low-key guys you'll ever run into in the garage. Oh, look, there, there, there's some actual shoving going on. There's a punch, a swing. All right, here we go, NASCAR fans, with the Once in a Lifetime Hell in a Cell match. I am I, Anthony, proud to bring you on WWE 2K14. San Diego, California. C.J. Casey Miller. That's right. Casey James Mears was born March 12, 1978. He's an American stock car driver. He's the son of Rick Mears. Um, he's 36 years old. He won the 2007 Coca-Cola 600. And in 2006, he also won the 24 Hours of Daytona. Um, right now, he drives the number 13 car for Germain Racing. His best finish is 14th in 2006. First race is 2003 Daytona 500. Casey Mears. It looks like his eye is healing pretty well after that punch he took from uh, Marcus Ambrose. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for watching my channel. That's right, guys. This is a Hell in a Cell match, which is won by a pinfall or submission. I'm not too sure. But next is the Tasmanian Devil. But Marcus Ambrose has no middle name. And approaching the ring... From Brisbane, Australia, the Marcus Devil Richard. Uh, All right, Marcus Ambrose was born September 1st, 1976. He's 37 years old right now. He's an Australian racing uh, racing driver. Drives the number nine for Dewalt, the, the Dewalt slash Stanley Ford Fusion for Richard Petty Motorsports. Alright guys, a little bit of air there. I was reading the wrong thing. Uh, Marcus Ambrose is from Tasmania, Australia. Give it up for Richard Petty Motorsports, guys. Alright, so Marcus Ambrose's first win was a 2001 Hell of a Good Sour Cream Dips at the Glen Watkins Glen. His last win was in 2012, the Finger Lakes 355 at the Glen. His two wins overall, 41 top 10s. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, after what all we've seen earlier, the punches, the crashes. It's here we go. Grotesque. And I wouldn't be surprised if either man were unable to walk out of here on their own merit. Oh, Casey, okay, so both these guys it. have one finisher to start off with. Looks like we got one going right here. The torture rack. We can almost start to I don't know if that's going to be enough. Yeah, Shout out to all the NASCAR fans here in attendance. Over. Rest in peace to the Ultimate Warrior. We're in the feeling out process here. Who's gonna Casey Mears hit toss to uh, Marcus Ambrose. The Tasman down oh, taking oh, chaps left. From that kick. Oh, blocks that drop kick. This is a normal Can match the setting. Uh, the charge finisher speed is at normal also. Oh, I think he's through too. He's not punching tonight. He's doing some kind of awesome finisher. Throws Casey Mears do? across the ring. He's One, going for the pin. two. Oh, a two count here. That's a drop kick. What the hell in the cell? Richard Petty in attendance, sitting behind Jerry the King Lawler and Michael Cole. Big chops. Uh oh, what's this all about? Big kick to Casey Mears' head. Right on that bruised eye. One, two. Oh, Casey Mears kicks out of there. This is about skill and power. Here we go. Looks like Marcus Ambrose has the momentum. 
Drops him right on his back. Big elbow. Big elbow. And there's and an ultra drop. big elbow. Wow. These two gladiators not only going at it in the NASCAR world, which they are at Talladega this weekend, but they are bringing it to the WWE. Will this be enough? Will Marcus Ambrose step up? Oh, there it is. He's putting those educated feet to good use. That elbow did some damage. No block. A wild counter by the maniac. Here we go with the elbow drops again from the Aussie. Elbow drop. All the way from Tasmania. Great match here. But if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. Uh oh, Casey oh, Mears fighting back. There's Casey Mears coming in at 5'8. Marcus Ambrose is 5'11. Big DDT there. With a cover now, what? Trouble kicking out of that oh, one. Ambrose kicks out right away. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, Kate? Oh, well, nice. Whenever the dominating competitor takes his oh, time. Casey it, Mears yeah, just towing with, so I don't know. towing with uh, Marcus Ambrose. Ambrose there. counters it. Uh-oh. Big kick to the head again. Ooh, nothing pretty about that. This could be the bruiser powers out of it. Oh. Oh, Big hip toss. What's this? The Tasmanian Devil. Uh -oh. it might be time to run. Casey Mears on a comeback. These competitors trying to keep their wits about them. I just knew it wasn't enough right there. These two awesome athletes are giving it their all. One, two. Oh, Geico almost so close to the win here. We got some DeWalt power going on. One, two. Oh, back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Oh no, here we go. This is his other finisher move. Oh, is that going to be enough? Casey Mears, he looks like he's crying. One, two, three. Marcus Ambrose, the Tasmanian Devil, getting the win. And here are just some of the highlights. Wow, what a match, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. Please like the video. Tell your friends. Oh, and that was a two count. But right here, Marcus Ambrose had enough of the Geico lizard. And throws, or Geico, and throws him down, or Gecko, whatever. Marcus Ambrose from Tasmania. Marcus Devil. Richard, an emotional victory here tonight. Yes, man, oh man, Richard Petty. Shout out to his wife, rest w in peace. W Ultimate Warrior, rest in peace. Casey Mears, get that eye looked at. Because you're going to need it at Talladega. Thank you guys for watching. I'm I, Anthony. Good night.